Jacob Bond Performance, just a real quick maintenance video. Don't mind the mess. The shop's got a lot going on between the FRS 60 LS swap, the Cummins Resto Mod, and maintenance on my car. So I'll show you what the deal is. So doing a 10,000 mile spark plug change as usual and started seeing some signs of a PCV valve issue and a little bit of seeping around the crankcase breather slash oil cap and that's the purpose of this is if you're getting an over pressurization to relieve some of that pressure before it causes issues also see there's a little bit of seepage around the cam bridge and cylinder four was just a little bit wet cylinder three and four but i wiped four off um so the plugs come out look good everybody rags on the rs7 plugs i've been running these the entire life of the car not the ngk the brew as long as you change them at 10k intervals zero issues out of those and of course fcp has a lifetime warranty on them so no reason not to swap them out often for peace of mind um but yeah so this is going to be the culprit on that on causing those uh various places to weep uh no surprise really the car's got i want to say twenty three thousand five hundred on it getting close to 24 maybe one hundred and twenty three thousand five hundred uh, not just 24. Um, yeah, wow. It's got over 100,000 on it. Um, coming up on 124. It's IS38 APR tuned for those of you that aren't familiar with the car. And of course, it's got my on performance front mount intercooler and full turbo back exhaust. So, yeah, just figured I'd point this out. It's really the first trouble I've had out of the car. Uh, I've got a low beam headlight bulb out so i'll be finding a solution for that as well that'll be a video for another time and of course we'll have more content about the six liter swap in the brz frs toy brew so i've got the old pcv valve off new and ready to go on uh things people normally don't mention or at least i've never heard of it before in their ultimate wisdom, Volkswagen encapsulated the PCV valve with coil packs. So same procedure you do to swap plugs. You need to get this whole wiring harness out of the way and two of the coil packs out of the way. I also wasn't aware how this goes together. It would have been nice of FCP to supply these O-rings because this line gets reused. But uh, I'm kind of into it now, so... Just going to slap it back together and hopefully this will resolve my oil weeping issues. There you go. Alright, so I'm going to mark it as I go. Torquing these to spec, which is 9 Newton meters, aka 80 inch pounds. All right, so before I wrap this up, I just want to point out, this is the only fastener out of all these that is just plastic into plastic. So do not try and torque that with the torque wrench. That is the line going to your turbo inlet. So I've got all these torqued to spec. Of course, you're gonna to want to do a cross pattern on your initial snug down and then when you torque it as well. So also you'll notice my cam bridge area is nice and clean. I left the car running and pressure washed it earlier in the day to make sure I wasn't going to be knocking debris down in there. Uh, cleanliness is definitely important when you're opening up the engine. And of course, take a look at the cam, make sure you don't have any scoring on the lobes. I did not. So yeah, if this helped you out, subscribe, comment below, and uh, shout out to FCP Euro for their lifetime warranty. Hopefully I never utilize it. but. Should this new PCV fail on me, I'll send them that one back and get a refund for the next one, which is always nice. And uh, really not much more expensive up front to buy from them either. So thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Speaking of shitbox activities.
so shiny. Can't even tell this thing's been molested with the sledgehammer and cutoff wheel. Yeah, let's really look at home in there now. I like it. $30 a paint later. No more rust. No more rust.